Okay, guys, I've got some great news today. Um, uh, to start it off, I'm just going to show you my old Bedini SSG. This is a standard uh, SSG. Takes one battery on a drive side, charges two batteries on the back end side using a thing called uh, back EMF or the collapsing field of that coil in there to put a high spike energy uh, into that, what they call radiant energy, which charges up the, the back batteries off the front battery. In the olden days, and even now, I listen to it with a little radio. It's uh, tuned to a null station. It picks up the frequency of the, of the motor and helped me tune the motor. But I got something new today to show you. It was a gift. It was early Christmas, and I'm very grateful for the gift. Let me turn this on. You can hear it. Okay, there goes the little Bedini SSG. That's made out of a honey jar lid, and that's why I call myself Lid Motor. You can hear it on the radio. Now, this is the new toy that I've got here. This is my scope. I haven't learned how to use it yet, but I will learn how to use this. And this is um, this is the Bedini SSG waveform that everybody looks at and admires, especially this part of it right here. This is the high energy down spike, the back spike that comes off the collapsing coil of a Bedini SSG and that's where we get the radiant energy charge is when that thing collapses okay now what I'm going to do now is turn this off and show you what happened today and what happened today was I got a new circuit that I tried out and it's a Slayer circuit it's Slayer 007's uh, G. Bluer is the inventor of this thing and he comes up with some great stuff so I had to try this today and what he's done is he's taken a very simple transistor circuit using a reed switch on a bifiler coil and he's coming off of the um, the circuit with back EMF back into the bifiler and amplifying it so it's a back EMF booster and uh, very interesting I added a few things to it just to try out a CFL and then I put a capacitor on it to show the charging on the capacitor but this is breadboarded. It's a very, very messy, and I apologize for the mess, but I did this in a hurry just to uh, try it out. And it, it's quite spectacular, it really is. Now, on his old circuit uh, that I, I have on uh, the thread, if you go to Energetic Form, you go to the uh, Slayer Pulse Generator thread. Um, on the collapsing back EMF on his old circuit, I could hold a capacitor at about 30 volts illuminating a 110 volt nightlight and to me that was very impressive this one is even better uh, this is a 12 volt power supply right here this is going to be the amp draw on it this is the big capacitor it's a 1300 microfarad 100 volt cap this will be the voltage stand on the cap this is the CFL it's just hot wired into a coil and I'll start it up and all this will run and then I'll disconnect the CFL and just show you what this thing does on the back end, which is real impressive. Um, the way this works, there's reed switches right here and a bifiler coil with a little neo magnet that helps trigger the, uh, the oscillation. goes through a couple of transistors and then uh, generates this uh, big back spike. So let me turn this on. Now that sounds like static. And I always wondered what that would look like on a scope. And now I got a scope I can show it to you. And it's very spectacular. Let me pull this uh, lead off here. Put it over here on the uh, Slayer project. Look at that on the scope. Now, what you do on these back EMFs is you go for very, very rapid sharp uh, turning on and turning off of the coil to generate these big rapid back spikes and that's what generates your your high back EMF uh, pulse charge and you can see right now I've got uh, the CFL running I'm holding uh, 22 volts on that cap right now 
that light is barely illuminated but it's on so that's a load holding 22 volts on that there's my uh, draw on the system that's 220 milliamps now I'm going to unplug the CFL here and there goes voltage on that cap it never did this before on Slayer circuit I I couldn't get it to hold that high of a voltage and this this is um, amazing to me absolutely amazing there's the amp draw now it went down 120 milliamps look at my screen it's going crazy now when I adjust this and I don't know how to operate this yet I'll get the manual on it and learn how to operate it but I'm going to spread this out some this right here I believe is the capacitor that uh, on an automobile you'll see this form as the capacitor sets up this rebounding back and forth this oscillation um, resonance in a, in a car and I think that's what I'm seeing right there is the capacitor going going crazy and uh, there it is again but this uh, this is rather spectacular to see that kind of energy generated out of this thing um, and all this is is a uh, reed switch with a little neo magnet that's causing this to go into oscillation and these transistors are helping but this is amazing this is holding 43 volts on that cap with that night light on now if I turn this off watch this this will just go right on up um, earlier in the day I had this uh, 150, 160 volts right away and I was afraid I'd blow up the capacitor so I turned it off but um, very impressive for an amp draw like that got 200 milliamps Let me turn this back on there goes the night light now the other thing that I liked about this and this is where the Emoteep guys come in is we can we can do the CFL off this and it'll run the CFL and it'll still charge and we can put a we can put a battery on this and charge up a battery quite nicely it wouldn't be a problem put a voltage regulator on this and go ahead and charge with this and now you got a CFL running now uh, you're doing about uh, 240 milliamps and I can change that around by messing with this neo magnet I'm gonna turn this radio off so we don't have to listen to static and uh, anyway we can make adjustments with this thing here but I just just wanted to show everybody um, my new toy and I sure appreciate the man that gave it to me uh, it was a gracious thing for him to do and I'm, I'm gonna learn how to use this and it's gonna help all of us thank you very much and Merry Christmas